Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today is an interesting topic, right? Um, pretty much it's gonna be artists versus venues. Alright, and I feel this is an important topic because there's a lot that's been going on um in these recent days where people are going to concerts, people are going to festivals, and it seems like it's not safe. Alright, people are dying left and right in concerts. Uh kids are, are literally dying at concerts now. Um, it's getting crazy. And I'm seeing a lot of people wanting to blame artists. You got people that want to blame venues. So it's actually a, a topic of a debate. You see what I'm saying? Um, I want to hear y'all opinion because I already got my opinion about it. I personally feel that um, we should hold venues accountable for the things that are happening at these concerts, these arenas, you know, these festivals that they put together. You know, um, they're creating a, a unsafe environment, but nobody's talking about the venues. Everyone's trying to hold the artists accountable. So we're going to get into all that, man. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. It's lit here. So join one of the latest gangs on YouTube so you can stay updated with some of the realest content. Now, let's get straight into it. Now. We got Draco the Ruler, who has recently been killed um, while attending a festival in LA, once upon a time in LA. And um, he was stabbed in the neck, all right? And then we also have the infamous Travis Scott concert where him, Drake, and I think a couple people performed in a festival, Astro World Festival held in Houston, Texas, you know, and pretty much, you know, it's like a thing, an annual thing that Travis Scott has every year, right? But the twist on it this year was a lot of people died, and there's a lot of speculation about the concert. Now, a lot of people, of course, went straight forward to blaming Travis Scott. You know, um, I got my own reasons of why um, I think he was, he should be held accountable. However, it has nothing to do with the reasoning that the news you know and everybody else is telling us now i want to break down a few scenarios right a lot of people it's like a money grab this is why they blame the artists they like to blame the artists because they know they could get money out of the artists you could get money out of the venue if you sue the venue as well but i think a lot of people just don't know how to go about suing a venue they don't know the people they have to contact or whatever so it's easier to just sue the artist and not to mention you pretty much know that artist got a little bit of money so that's what people usually go for right now here's a scenario right and this is why i think that an artist shouldn't be held accountable at the end of the day if something pop off in that audience a fight a stabbing uh something with a deadly weapon an artist can't do nothing to save an individual from being hurt all right this is why security is put in place at venues you see what i'm saying and this is what i try to tell people yes an artist the only thing an artist could do is stop the music he could tell the people to calm down you know he could say don't do this don't do that however it's up to the security that was put in place to help secure <laughs> and help um, um take order of the venue in case something goes down it's up to them to break up a fight it's up to them to disarm an individual with the weapon it's up to them to uh to keep the safety of that venue you see what i'm saying this is why in draco case when he was able to have a fight they was have they was able to have this big old brawl that went on for a little a couple minutes and then he was eventually stabbed this is why i feel we should hold the venue accountable because had the security stepped in a long time ago he would still be with us today because it wouldn't have led up to him being stabbed they was able to fight for a little for a little back and forth and the next you know he was stabbed eventually at the end uh, towards the end or whatever the case may be you know but had the uh security been on their job and broke it up in in, in, in a decent timing it probably would have never even led up to him being stabbed 
you know so this is why i personally feel venues need to be held accountable these are the people that's holding these these, these festivals they having this this big crowd of people and they the ones that's getting paid you know they getting paid to hold these concerts these festivals they getting paid they paying security to actually be there to secure but the security aren't securing so what are they there for and then also you have uh, these venues that's booking these artists that have beef with each other you see what i'm saying these artists have public beef with each other and even if you think you don't know that they have beef with each other this is why it's important before you do an event you you put together a festival or whatever you have to have this type of knowledge you have to do this uh, this type of homework you have to do this type of research before you start booking artists and putting them in the same space as each other and you don't know that they have real life beef man not just song beef and you know some people do just have song beef however it's still beef you can't tell how this person's going to react after seeing somebody that he don't like it could go left or it could go right you see what I'm saying? It could be just a fight, or it could be somebody getting killed, or it could just it could be an argument, it could be whatever, but you never know. And why would you want to put your event in that type of space? Why would you want to put your event in jeopardy like that? You know, some of these some of these places they purposely do it because they know that things like that is, is gonna bring controversy. And controversy brings publicity, and publicity brings people watching your event. So now you never know. Maybe next year people are gonna be like, yo, um, this person is going there. Let's watch out because you never know what might happen. You remember what happened last year? You see what I'm saying? People thrive off of negativity. And like I said, man, I just think they should do their homework a little more. They put in people that have real beef with each other in the same uh, space, underneath the same roof. That ain't cool at all. And look, look what happened. You know, so of course, yes, as an artist, I feel if, if you neglect things that are going on in the crowd, um, you know, sometimes to be honest with you, it's hard to hear over the music. I don't know if you've ever been to the concert. It's very loud. Um, something could be going on right in, on the side of you You may never know because the music is so loud You know, until maybe it calms down or something like that But it's very hard If I'm an artist on a stage To sit there and try to tell somebody in the crowd what to do And I'm on stage First of all, as an artist An artist is not just going to go into the crowd and break things up The artist is the actual artist They got to be secure too as well So once again, I think this is where security comes in. I think this is where they need to change um, these concerts. They need to somehow make it a safer environment for people to want to go into these concerts. If you look back in the Travis Scott concert, they said a kid, I forgot the age, but a kid, a kid was allowed inside something like that. And then they was either killed or, or extremely hurt, something like that. I forgot the whole story, but yeah man these these concerts they need to be a little more safer especially if you're gonna have kids there um i think a, a capacity needs to be uh, on a strict a more a more strict um order because if you see that travis scott concert man it was people literally on top of each other i don't even know why they stayed there once i would have went to that concert and i see that everybody was on top of each other i would have had to leave that's not even comfortable. You got another man on top of you. Then you, you you on top of another man. And come on. That's that's weird. You know. Um, and like I said. As far as the Once Upon a Time in LA uh, festival. It led to an actual artist dying. Like how crazy is that? An artist literally died backstage of a festival. And everybody just. Ah, well. You know, well, it happened. You know, it was a brawl. Nah, man, things like that don't just happen. We don't, we can't just sweep things like that under a rug. Cause, you know, next it could lead to a very bigger artist, um, being put in harm's way. And then what we gonna say then, man? We gotta be more proactive than reactive these days, man. It's a lot going on. So, you know, that's my spill on it. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Should the artist be held accountable solely, or? Should the venue be held accountable solely or maybe hold both of them accountable? However, I just don't like the fact that people are just sweeping the venue, 
you know, under the rug. Like, nah, nah, let's go straight for the money. Let's go straight for Travis Scott. Let's go straight for the artist. Let's go straight for Drake. Let's, let, let's sue them. Everybody's want to sue Travis Scott, but nobody's saying anything about the people that put the thing together. Now, sometimes in some cases, when it's like, um, actually, I think in Travis Scott case, he is the one that put it together. So that's understandable, you know, but when you got other rolling loud, a lot of things happen at rolling loud. You have artists get into fights left and right every year at rolling loud, you know? So at some point we got to hold the venue accountable. You got to hold the security. You got to hold somebody accountable. So this don't happen or this don't turn deadly in the future. All right, so y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.